I welcome you all to the lecture series on economic botany for UG students. In today's lecture, you are going to understand about the origin, distribution, cultivation, and uses of black pepper. The scientific name of black pepper is Piper nigrum. It belongs to the family Piperaceae. And the common names of the black pepper are black pepper, Kali Mirchi, in Canada, Curry, Minnesota. The part used of the black pepper is berry or fruit. Black pepper is admired as king of spices and block gold is one of the oldest and the world's most important spices. Among all the spice crops, pepper which has the highest contribution to foreign exchange and trade turnover. Black pepper of commerce is the dried, matured and unripened fruit of Piper nigrum. It is a perennial climbing plant mostly cultivated as a mixed crop in coffee, citrus, areca nut plantations in Kerala and Karnataka. Pepper originated in the hills of southwestern India. It occurs wild in the hills of Assam and North Burma. Pepper is grown in Indonesia, Malaysia, Brazil, Madagascar, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Thailand, China and the Federated State of Micronesia. The Malba Ghost of India was the center of pepper trade from time immemorial. In India, it is grown mainly in Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and to a little extent in Goa, Odisha, Assam and Andaman Islands. Kerala is the major state accounts for 95% of country's area and production. Pepper is essentially a crop of the humid tropics and requires adequate rainfall and humidity. However, it thrives well even in the hot and humid climate of the foothills of the western Ghats. So, it is a shade-loving vine. Too much of shade will affect flowering and fruiting. To avoid sun scorching, it should be planted towards the eastern slopes, avoiding the southwest sunlight. Pepper thrives best on virgin soils, rich in humus and naturally well drained. Red lateritic soils or Alluvial soils rich in humus are also highly suitable. Heavy clays and sandy soils should be avoided. The best pH range of growing pepper is between the 4.5 to 6.5. Next coming to the propagation of the pepper. Pepper can be propagated by seeds as well as by vegetative means. The first aspect is propagation by seeds. The fully ripe berries are collected, soaked in water overnight and later rubbed with a paste of cow dung. 
the treated seeds are sown in the nursery the seeds are viable up to 20 days after the harvest they germinate within a month in the nursery beds and will be ready for transplanting within 45 days in india transplanting is done in july to august next aspect is propagation by vegetative methods the mother plants selected for the preparation of cutting should possess the desirable attributes such as regular and high yielding lt free from pest and diseases and preferably 5 to 12 years of age there are different plant cutting methods are used in black pepper propagation conventional method rapid multiplication method serpentine method pit method and micro propagation so convention method it is also called as a traditional method the common method of artificial vegetative propagation are cutting grafting budding and layering so conventional method is also called as say traditional method among these the rapid multiplication technique is the best vegetative propagation for black pepper the modified rapid multiplication technique developed by iisr calicut is adapted for quick multiplication of rooted cuttings this method originally developed by from sri lanka this is the compound layering technique it is also called as a serpentine layering technique My, micro propagation it is a in vitro cultivation of the black pepper vegetative propagation by grafting also done for black pepper single node cuttings could be successfully grafted either by means of side grafting or in arching when pepper is grown as a mixed crop in coffee and coconut plantations or areca gardens there is no need to plant standards or shade trees the dose of manures and fertilizers to be applied per unit area varies according to the soil fertility a year after the vines are well developed well decomposed farmyard manure bio manure and vermi compost may be applied in the soil on the basis of soil analysis rock phosphate bone meal such as limestone and dolomite can be applied green crop residue cow dung poultry waste and sawdust or mixed with rock phosphate used in place of chemical fertilizers mulching is very essential where pepper is ground with minimum shade to conserve moisture using banana trash dried grass or other substances spike shedding disorder is observed in pepper as a result of 10 to 40% of yield loss in recorded to overcome this problem apart from application of major and micronutrients and control of diseases and pests application of iaa or planofix and 24d is recommended to control the spike shedding disorder 
these are called as a growth regulators so using these growth regulators you can control the spike shedding disorder in black pepper capability for the irrigation can supplied water around the pit for december to may month once in 10 days drip irrigation is suitable for black pepper weeds can be removed during june to july and october to november months a month two times a weed removal is applicable so pepper vine tips can be pinched to improve the lateral branch growth this method is called as a pruning club beetle mealy bug and scale insects or the leaf roller nematodes or the common in black pepper club beetle eat the tender pepper skin and beetles larvae put the hole and damage the tender pepper mealybug and scale insects absorb and damage from strings leaf roller it was within the egg leaf curl and sucking the juice so rolled part will be damaged the morphological structure of green leaf lo loss is color to control these insects to control club beetle mealy bug scale insects and leaf roller spray neem oil at the time of flowering during july and october and also spray dasa kavya 3% solution three times with 15 days interval to control the insects may spray garlic nematode affected vines impacted by the reduced height of vines small leaves and color changes into pale yellow and nodes can found in the roots to control these pests at the time of selecting the vines we can choose nematode free plant if a nematode problem is highly identified maricot can be planted to control nematodes pseudomonas and trichoderma fungus and pseudomonas bacteria mixer can be applied in the root zone at a rate of 50 grams per vine neem cake mixed with formaldehyde manure at a rate of 100 grams may be applied food rot diseases it is a fungal diseases to control these diseases should undergo regular health operations with limited time to understand undertake plugging water should flow in a balanced manner trichoderma pseudomonas mixture should be applied at the rate of 50 grams per year for each vine slowly rot and rot diseases is a main diseases in black pepper which affect the pepper vine well grown pepper vine suddenly dapping off it is a type of fungal diseases it's july 
August, the south-west monsoon rains caused rampant. If the disease affects the vine, within 10 to 15 days, the entire leaves drop and the plant will die. Falling leaves is in green color for the most part raised in nearby spruce and mature leaves become dark. The spruce part first decomposing and then roots clotched and the plant decays. This disease mostly seen in lower Palani hills. To control these diseases should be applied the body X mixture or biofertilizers, sorry, biofungicides to control these fungal diseases. Next, coming to the next aspect is uh, harvesting. Pepper commences during third year of the planting. Flowering and harvesting depend on climatic factors. The most important being rainfall. In India, pepper plant start flowering during May to June with onset of southwest monsoon and harvesting is usually done in December to January. At higher altitudes, the fruit ground and maturity get delayed. Generally, harvesting is done when one or two berries in a few spikes turn orange or red color. Care should be taken to harvest only mature spikes. Harvested spikes are collected in clean sacks or bags tied at back of worker. Harvested spikes are spread on a clean floor and pressured manually by trampling with legs or by using mechanical pressure. Manual threshing is more common in India. The harvested spikes are piled up in a heap to initiate browning and threshing. It makes threshing easy and also gives good color to finished product. Black pepper of comments is produced from old, ripe, but fully developed berries. After threshing, they are spread on a suitable, suitable drying floor for sun drying. Berries are racked to ensure uniform color to avoid mold development. Drying takes about three to five days by which time moisture content will be brought down to 10 to 12 percent. The dried berries are garbled, graded and packed in double liner gunny bags. The black color that pepper Acquires on drying is due to oxidation of colorless phenolic compounds present in skin. Dry recovery varies from 29 to 38 percent among cultivars. Solar dryers, solar dryers and mechanical dryers are now available for drying peppers. White pepper is prepared from ripe berries or by decorticated black pepper. Coming to the last aspect of this session is economic uses of black pepper. Black pepper was historically both a seasoning and traditional medicine. Black 
pepper contains moderate amounts of vitamin iron and manganese with trace amount of other essential nutrients like protein and dietary fiber pepper corns composed of health benefiting essential oils such as piperin and amine alkaloid piperin is a amine alkaloid they also carry numerous monoterpenes hydrocarbons such as sabinin pinene terpenine limonene myrcin etc which all together give aromatic property to the pepper these compounds help the body remove harmful free radicals and help protect from cancers and diseases they have a antioxidant property piperin can increase absorption of selenium vitamin b12 beta carotene and curcumin pepper oil is obtained by steam distillation of dried and crushed berries of black pepper this oil is used for flavoring of food black pepper cures several illness such as constipation insomnia over oral abscesses sunburn and toothache pepper is used for a variety of purposes it is more frequently and regularly used than any other spices as a condiment it stimulates the digestive organs and thus produces an increased flow of saliva and gastric juices it is used for seasoning many dishes and it imparts its characteristic blend of flavor and pungency to the cuisines the ancient aryans considered pepper as a powerful remedy for various disorders of the anatomical system and described it as an effective cure of dyspepsia malaria delirium tremors hemorrhoids etc it is used as an essential preservatives for meats and other perishable foods it is therefore largely used by meat packers and in canning pickling baking and confectionery and the preparation of beverages it is also used as flavoring in culinary seasonings of universal use and an essential ingredients of numerous commercial foodstuffs pepper corns contain anti inflammatory carminative and anti flatulent properties i hope you all understood today's topic we will continue the next economic product in another session thank you